Mike Peden of Examiner.com here with Indiana Fever post Erlena Larkins. And uh, your story, I guess your comeback story has been uh, well publicized by now. <laughs> but uh, how would you describe uh, your progression from the start of the season up to this point? Um, I would just consider it a blessing. Um, first and foremost, that I'm here in Indiana and allowed the opportunity to um, make the team. And then I make the team and catch goes to London for the Olympics. And I just took the time to um, take advantage of my, my opportunity, which means that she was gone and I was allowed to work with the starters and build some chemistry. So I think that was the most important part of the season. When did you notice that things were clicking for you? You mentioned the break helping out, but when you went from kind of not sure of your surroundings to uh, just getting very comfortable. I, I, I don't know. Um, I couldn't put a time frame on it, but um, sometime in between the month um, that we had off and when the game started, um, when I was allowed to play a little bit more, um, I just felt confident because I had built a chemistry with the people that were on the floor most of the time. And how about those playoffs? Because it, uh, it looks like you've been playing with an all-star caliber, as uh, someone might say. Um, the playoffs, I mean, it's go hard or go home. Um, we've been in two series where we've had our backs against the wall, and um, I'm just trying to go out there and give 110%, and as long as you give that and leave everything on the floor, um, I think regardless of the outcome, you have to be proud of yourself. And part of that, Indiana, 4-0 in elimination games uh, this season, so how, do you, uh, how does the team respond to losses, and why have they responded so well when everyone thinks they're going to be written off? All of a sudden, they're surprising people. Uh, well, I mean, you got that <laughs> fight or flight mentality. You know, it's you go into a series down 0-1. Um, you have the home court advantage. We didn't we didn't do well, um, but we went to Atlanta. We got a win, then we brought the series back to Indiana where we finished them off. Um, and then we had this next series where we didn't have the home court advantage. We didn't win the first game. They took care of business. Um, we took care of business at home, and then we just fought over adversity um, game three, missing KT the entire game, and everybody just stepped up and, do, and did the things that we knew that they can do. And how did everyone stay so composed at that point? Because Douglas goes down, and I, I have to imagine a few fans were thinking this was it for Indiana, and they were playing as if uh, Douglas wasn't even there. I mean, just blowing them out and just kept on rolling. Well, this is something that uh, the coaches and um, our leader and catch talks about a lot of the time, that we have to just take advantage of our opportunity, whether it's two minutes or 20 minutes, um, that we have to always be ready because we don't know when the opportunity is going to come. So I think that everybody that played in game three, they did a great job. Um, they picked it up for KT. And what did that game three win uh, kind of communicate to fans who might think now with Indiana here and Douglas, her status uncertain, that Minnesota might just roll in here with another title? Um, I mean, we... we <laughs> We showed them in game three that um, KT is a very um, crucial part of the team, but um, her status is unknown, and we're just going to have to go with what we have here. In terms of experience with this team, was there any? did you have any mentors this season to help you um, adapt to that post game? Uh, I wouldn't say mentors, but, um, you know, JD and I played together in New York, um, and she's always there to say, Whatever, whatever she, she sees um, that, you know, maybe I can do better. And then Tammy, of course, and her veteran leadership. But I think that um, down the post is where I'm most comfortable playing. So um, just watching and paying attention, they don't really say too much. But you can learn a lot from just watching. And what's your focus down there? Because people have complimented your tenacity, your drive, despite appearing undersized against some of the other posts, like Tina Charles or Erica DeSouza. Well, it's about the heart. Um, Everybody keeps saying I'm undersized, but somehow I, I just keep to keep showing them that hey, size doesn't matter as long as I'm out there fighting um, and giving them giving them all that I have, and not going into a situation thinking that hey, I'm undersized and you know, I'm going against the league's MVP, and just remaining confident in, in what I can do, and just going out there and trying to apply that to the game. Not to mention there was a challenge at the start of the season with Indiana's post play. Catchings moved to the four. There were some questions about that. People weren't sure how the five was going to be handled, and it seems now in the postseason they've adjusted well well um i don't know that's coach lynn dunn um that was an adjustment she decided to go with and uh it's been working well for us and talk about her coaching because she is making adjustments to the starting lineup and even her rotation during the playoffs not something a lot of coaches do kind of how bold of a move do you think that was and you know, what does that say about her experience and her intelligence and scouting opponents i 
I don't know if I would call that a bold move. Um, I just think that she felt that uh, this could work and she wanted to try it out. Um, and it's been working thus far. And then she has great experience on the coaching staff with um, Mickey DeMoss, who's been coaching for a while, and then Stephanie, who also brings her input as well. And regardless of what happens in this finals, uh, what are you going to take out of it? I know you'd like to win a title, but whatever happens, um, what are you looking forward to? Um, well, this is the most important part. I mean, I was looking forward to being here. Um, but just to be able to tell my story, um, I've come a long way. And uh, I think regardless of the outcome, I think I'm going to be pretty proud of myself because a lot of people forgot about me. And uh, how do you carry this perhaps um, to next season or your future, seeing that you can go from somebody who was kind of bouncing around to um, this comeback story that we've seen of yours, for lack of a better word? Um, I mean, I think the most important thing is to stay humble, um, but most importantly, um, be grateful. I was out of the league for two, two seasons for a reason, um, but now I'm back like I never left. So just be humble um, and just always continue to have that hunger for the game. And finally, is there anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching hi. this interview? Uh, well, of course, my family. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Um, all the supporters back in Carolina, um, everybody back in Indianapolis, we thank you for the support. We appreciate it, and we're going to try to bring you guys the championship back to Indiana. Thanks, Elena Larkins, and good luck. Thank you.